Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your Poetic Psychic Pisces High Priestess, aka the light that shines like eight diamonds, also known as your modern day nun, one who isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be um, one of my murder mysteries. And this is going to be for 10-year-old Lily Peters from Wisconsin. Hunt for killer underway after 10-year-old girl found dead near walking trail. A hunt for a killer is underway in Wisconsin after a 10-year-old girl was found dead. And the police chief is warning residents to be vigilant. Lily Peters, a fourth grader, was reported missing by her father on Sunday night, said the police of Chippewa Falls, a city about 100 miles east of Minneapolis. Lily had been at her aunt's house on Sunday and never made it home that night, said police. On Sunday night, officers found Lily's bike in the woods by a walking trail near her aunt's house, police said. Around 9.15 a.m. Monday, Lily's body was found in a wooded area near the walking tra trail. Chippewa P Falls Police Chief Matthew Kelm said at a news conference. Kelm said police are considering this a homicide investigation. There was a makeshift memorial for 10-year-old um, Liliana Lily Peters on April 25th of 2022 in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. No one is yet in custody. Kelm said in a press conference Monday afternoon, police are following up on leads and asking residents to be extra vigilant, he said. We encourage anyone with information to please contact the Chippewa Falls Police Department and maintain a state of vigilance as there may be a danger to the public, Kelm said. ABC News' Matt Foster con contributed to this report. This is the makeshift memorial that they had for her where they found her body in this wooded area. This is Liliana, AKA Lily Peters. Okay guys, so um, I did a reading for this. This actually is a news article that popped up on my news feed that I get on my phone today and it like really bothered me. So I began to look into it, did a reading on it. Um, because it just popped up today, I really didn't go into a spirit reading. I'm this, that, the other. By the end of this video, if I feel if I feel compelled to do so, then I will do so live right here with you all, okay? Because a lot of times I take a lot more time to investigate these situations, look into it, but I've used like several different decks and I've come up with a lot of information pertaining to this situation, okay guys? So this murder mystery is as follows. As always, I would like to give my condolences to the people, family, friends, loved ones of Lily Peters. I um, do apologize for your loss at this time. I know you all are grieving. Um, I am none biased to the situation. Nothing I am going to say is um, met in an effort to be mean, hateful, or disrespectful to any particular persons. All I can do is relate to you the information that I get, um, relate to you what my spirit guides tell me, um, share with you um, 
the 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 information that i get pertaining to this situation and i'm doing so for the purposes to help law enforcement as well as the family to bring you all closure okay um a lot of times these things are very difficult because um a lot of people say they want the truth but if you give people the truth um um, it's it, it it's you know uh, people combat it. It's like hard to believe when real truth come out about a situation Okay, because you know, it, it's a lot easier for somebody to think that there is just some awful boogeyman hiding in some you know somewhere waiting to pounce and oh my gosh this happened to our loved one so if when information detour from that, okay, um, people began to feel some type of way about that. But if truth is what you want, clarity is what you want, then that is what I am here to provide for you. Everything that I do is done in an effort to help, to heal, um, to to um, provide you some type of closure, some type of um, you know just for you to know the truth and have clarity to a situation because a lot of times situations like this even when you are dealing with people in power there are things that's going to be kept from you hidden from you covered up um altered changed all kinds of things go on in these situations especially when you are talking about young people especially when certain persons are involved here okay so like i said um i do offer my condolences to the family the friends the loved ones of this young lady i do apologize for your loss at this time um as i said i'm doing this in an effort to provide you all truth clarity and um some um sort of being able to to get the justice that you need as well as heal from the situation as well as um uh, providing um upstanding okay understand that upstanding um law officials who are really working diligently and hard on this situation okay so um i started off with basic tarot spread of this and then I wanted to pull more information so I have one two three four five six seven seven eight different decks that I used okay to get certain information um, so we got to have a main reading and then all the other decks were used as clarifiers okay um, this is going to be shocking this is going to be appalling um, so if truth and clarity is what you really want, please brace yourselves. The first card we have here is the Ten of Wands. What this lets me know is there was a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of problematic situations that was going on at this time around this situation leading up to the death of Lily Peters. There is someone close to her who is a fire sign. This is a king of wands. My cards, I do not take my cards in the reverse. These cards came out like it literally has to pop out of my deck and fall down in the reverse for me to take it as such. Otherwise, I'll read all of my cards upright. This king of wands came out in the reverse. Um, this king of wands... Um, is fire energy so the overall fire energy is going to be zodiac signs Sagittarius Aries or Leo however I did specify exactly who this fire sign is and I have Aries here okay this is this this king of wands in the ver reverse he is someone who can be mean and surly um, nasty um, um, maybe even a little violent at times okay but like i said with the first um energy that we have here with the ten of wands there was something burdensome problematic that was happening for this king of wands to be in the reverse here okay these problems that the this king of wands here was faced facing the reason why there were so many burnt and so many problematic situations was because there was some type of competition some type of battle some type of competing jealousy enviness that he was having with someone else okay these burdens 
this competition is pertaining to money with the ten of coins here a very large lump sum of money here okay these burdens this competition that was going on about this large sum of money is pertaining to the young lady lily peters who came up as a water sign in my deck she came out as a page of cups i clarified on her specifically i got cancer cancer kept popping out this young lady is um her zodiac sign is cancer or she either has cancer highly aspected in her chart here okay but she came out in my deck as a water sign okay um this fire this king of wands in the reverse here i feel like could be her father okay there was a lot of burdens, a lot of problematic situation, guys, that was happening in their family here, okay? There was some competition, some arguments, some disagreements going on pertaining to money that had to do with this child, okay? Then I got a page of wands. Now, the page of wands could mean one or two things, okay? Because I'm specifically doing a reading about Lily Peters. This is either telling me that Lily has a sibling that is as young as she is or younger. And these burdens, these problems, this competition about money um, could be about these kids, his kids here, okay? Um, or this is letting me know, or the, the page of ones could be seen as a messenger. Somebody coming with some type of, giving some type of messages, news, information, communication to somebody, orders, directions to somebody, okay? But looking at just this part of the spread, this can tell me that this fire sign here in reverse, this king of wands here in the reverse, he has, he was dealing with some type of situation. I feel like there was a legal situation that was going on. This could have been pertaining to child support, um, alimony, spousal support, um, something along those lines. That was the burden. That was the problematic situation. That was what this competition was about. Um, about this large sum of money pertaining to these kids here or pertaining to, at least we know, Lily. Okay? I have the Hermit card here. Okay? Because of these burdens, because of this res such responsibility, so much problematic situations that was going on in this fire sign's life, this king of wands that came up in the reverse, he went into like a hermit mode state of mind. He went within. He began to think, what can I do about this problem? What can I do about all of this responsibility? What can I do about these burdens? How can I keep from coming out of such a large lump sum of money that obviously somebody was trying to swindle out of him, okay? Then we have the five of swords here because obviously there was conflict conflict because of these battle uh, this these burdens conflict because of these battles this competition this conflict this person was in having arguments fights disagreements with someone that they were in competition with about this responsibilities these burdens these problematic situations this large sum of money pertaining to his children here how do I know this? Because we have the seven of coins that came out on the five of wands here. This lets me know that somebody was working really hard to get this large lump sum of money out of this fire sign here, okay? This could be his 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 ex-wife. Okay, there could be, there could have been some divorce proceedings that was going on, child support, um, spousal support, alimony was conversation amongst all of this. This man was going to be out of a lot of money for, for all of those things that was going on. And this person who he has been in conflict with, who he has been in competition with, or who has been in competition and conflict with him was working very hard to get a lot of money out of him. Okay. But like I told you, he went into hermit mode. He went into deep thought, deep contemplation about these problems, about these burdens, about this conflict, about this competition, about the money. And then this is what gave him the motivation and the determination to move forward on something. Okay? With the three of wands here, this lets me know that there were three people involved with trying to get a large lump sum of money here pertaining to 
this little girl who came up dead, Lily Peters here. I have the Ace of Wands in reverse here. Somebody stopped her, blocked her pathway, her, her movement, her track, how she was traveling. Is They kept her from moving forward. There were three people involved in this to hurt this girl, to harm this girl here. I have the King of Cups in reverse as well, okay? There were three, and, and, and let me just show you this, okay? This King of Cups showed up as a Pisces. I directly asked my spirit guides, who is this, this uh, King of Cups? Because we know um, by element, water elements are Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios here, okay? So I wanted to specifically know who this was. I got Pisces. So this King of Wands in the reverse is an Aries. This King of Cups in the reverse is a Pisces here, okay? And Lily Peters came out as a Cancer. Now, I told you, I, I, I'm like, this is a lot of people, Spirit. I need to know who, I know three people were involved in setting this thing up and uh, uh, having the motivation to kill her, okay? But I wanted to know directly who killed her. I got the Nine of Swords and the King of Coins here. This person is in mental conflict, okay? They're being haunted and taunted by what they have done at this time pertaining to the murder of this young lady here. My spirit, guys, like I said, there are multiple people who know of this situation, know of this setup. This baby was sacrificed, okay, is what I'm trying to tell you all. She was set up and she was sacrificed. This, this did not happen by accident, okay? So this is not some, uh, um, you know, uh, maniac, serial killer on the loose in Wisconsin killing random people. This girl was specifically targeted. She was specifically sacrificed for a purpose. Okay? And it was a setup. I asked, who is this king of coins here? I got Capricorn. Okay? This is the person my spirit guides tell me directly is responsible for taking Lily Peter's life. But this Aries man and this Pisces man is involved in this whole setup. Remember, I told you with the three of wands sitting on top of the king, or, or, or excuse me, the, the ten of coins. These three individuals were going to come into a large, would get a large lump sum of money for sacrificing this young lady here, okay? And this person here is the person that they had to do it, okay? But there are a total of three people who are involved in this um, directly, okay? Um, also, let me clear, let, so let's get into the clarifiers here. So I clarified Ten of Wands with the Hermit card, okay? I got Courthouse. This is what, this is how I know that, like I told you, those burdens, those problematic situations, those, that, that heavy responsibility. You see this man going in the courthouse with these papers in his hand. There was something legally going on in the courts, okay? I feel like this could be divorce proceedings, child support, um, alimony, spousal support, something, okay? This is where all of the burdens was coming from. I clarified the king of wands in reverse with the king, uh, or excuse me, the king of wands in reverse with the five of swords here, okay? So we know that this fire sign was in conflict with someone. I got the lover's card here. This is still, this is his ex-wife or either whomever, if they was not married and he just have children with this person, this would be his baby's mother, okay? Or his kid's mother. Okay, but if he was married to this, and this person could have been taking him to court, trying to get the kids, or either, or, or, um, for child support, or something, if this was his wife, he was going through a divorce, and there was a spousal support, or alimony, um, that was talked about, child support that was talked about, okay, and things like that, this man was going to be out of a lot of money, because of this situation, okay? There was a legal situation going on with a lover. 
that he was with who I feel like is who he has his children by. Okay, to clarify the five of wands, which talks about competition here with the seven of coins here, this person that he was in competition and conflict with who was working hard to get this money out of him is none other than this main female here. This is who he was in competition with. This is who he was in conflict with. This is who he had these was causing all these burdens in the court of law here. Okay, was trying to take him for a whole lot of money. Okay. This is when a plan was hatched in order to, 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 to cease and desist this situation, this burdensome situation. A plan was hatched and set up by three individuals who came together here and decided to sacrifice this baby for a large lump sum of money here. The Ten of Coins and the Three of Wands is... is um, Clarified with pathway. They decided a new pathway to take in order to get a large lump sum of money. Okay. To clarify the page of cups with the ace of wands in reverse, we have the coffin card. This girl was killed for money. Okay. When I clarify the page of... Um, what is that? The Page of Wands with the King of Cups here, okay? We have here the wealthy man. Somebody is wealthy and in power, okay? That is a part of this equation here, okay? It's linked up with the family in some type of way. This person was the middleman um, who came up with a solution, what to do, how to do, when to do, where to do everything at here there is a wealthy man this whoever this king of cups in reverse is here who came up as a pisces is a wealthy man okay this person was a messenger and communicated with the other two people involved in this situation in sacrificing this little girl here okay causing her death but this baby was sacrificed. How do you know that the court proceedings, the courthouse card here, is about this, this, this little girl? I got the child card that came up. This person, this king of wands was in court about child support. Okay? I clarified the lovers. I got thief here. This person that he was in conflict and competition with was trying to take... A large lump sum of money from him for his children or over his children about his children how do I know it was the female who was doing this then I tell you she was working hard to get a lot of money from him when I clarified the main female I got money that's all she's about money okay when I clarify the ten of coins with the three of wands here I have pathway we have surprise here. Didn't I tell you she was stopped? She was blocked. Um, somebody pulled up or like blocked her off, stopped her along her way along this trail in this park here. You see those three fish in that net right there? There were three people that surrounded this girl that was a part of attacking her, blocking her pathway here. Okay? These individual, just like the three of ones here, you see those three fish in that net. They are the ones who had the motivation and determination to move forward and killing her to get this large lump sum of money here. Okay? When I clarify um, Lily Peter's energy with the ace of ones in reverse and with the ace of ones, the ace of ones in the upright talks about growth, talks about passionately moving forward, but it's in the reverse verse somebody stunted her growth somebody blocked her stopped her prevented her from moving forward thus she was killed is the reason for the coffin card here we have enemy somebody who's an enemy is the one who ultimately took her life here they surprised her they jumped out blocked her pathway they surprised her grabbed her and this enemy is the one who ultimately took her life 
when I clarified this wealthy man, I got faux. This man here is a con artist. He's sneaky. He's low down. He's there. He came up in the reverse. So he's very malicious. He's very sneaky. He's very conning. He, he, he's a manipulator. Okay. He's an illusionist. Okay. And he's a part of this whole equation of what goes down here. Look at this. At the bottom of the Kipper deck, we have despair here. Who's in despair? We have the family room here. Why? Because of some type of change here. Something was caused on purpose to bring about a change here. Okay? What was that? At the bottom of this deck here, we have death. Okay? These individuals are grieving. Sigh here. Mourning the death of this young lady here. Okay? Now, energy can go various different ways, guys. Okay? I know matter-of-factly that there are persons directly connected related to this girl who is involved in this not the majority of her family you understand me and the reason for me saying that this 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 energy is reversed here can um can be reversed here so like for instance like this king of wands in reverse if you see a king come out you automatically assume that is a man but it's possible for it to be a female who is in her masculine energy when she decides to do something. Okay? But it very well could be matter-of-factly that that is a male. Okay? I was really trying to get down to who's, who, whose plan was it? Okay? Whose plan was it to cause this, this girl's death? Now we know that this person here, this king of wands, he was dealing with a, having a lot of conflicts, fights, arguments, disagreements. There was competition going on with somebody that was working hard to get a lot of money up out of him. Okay? So then I have to ask myself, who would benefit the most of, with her being dead? Okay? If... And then I, I meant to show you all this too because this popped out extra here. We have wife. And see how she's sitting here with the daughter? So this threw me for a loop. Because I'm like, I need to know who set this girl up. Okay? I, I, I'm sorry to say, but with everything that's going on, Either the mother or the father came up with the plan to set her up in order to get the large lump sum of money. Now, like I said, I came to a point where I'm like, who would have benefited more from her being dead? Well, this person who had all these burdens on him. In these conflicts, these battles, these fights, these arguments, these disagreements, all this competition going on. If she was dead, they no longer would be responsible for paying out any money for her, say, if this is about child support. Okay? But, if you flip it, would the, um, the person who was in competition with him, trying to get this large lump sum of money, which would be her mother, how would she then benefit from her being dead? Okay? Because if she was dead, then... Like I said, just vice versa. It would not make him responsible for paying her, you know, him paying her out anything, okay? But there is something else that is going on here. This is on the surface is what's going on. I know matter-of-factly that Lily Peter's parents were in competition, in fights, in arguments, in disagreement, in, in, in battle with one another about money. About finances, money, resources, okay? I know that matter-of-factly. Who, 
who exactly had the overall motive like at some point somebody knew or was in uh, 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 um, communication with a wealthy man in power here somebody they got some type of offer in some type of way from someone how to you know seize this situation and that's when they got the motivation and determination to sacrifice this girl here, okay? There's a lot of other information that's going to come out here. This person is matter-of-factly the one who ultimately took her life. But there were three persons all together involved with the setup against her here. The cards at the bottom of this deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune here. This wheel is turning. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Coins... The Six of uh, Wands here, the Ten of Cups, okay? And then the Three of Cups. This Wheel of Fortune is turning. And it's going to turn in one person's favor or the other person's favor here, okay? But it's all about this money here. Somebody was paid. Somebody was paid. To kill this girl. With the six of wands here. This is public information. Public knowledge. Public recognition pertaining to her death here. But. It links back to the family. With the ten of cups being here. It links back to the family. As to why she was even killed in the first place. And we got the three of cups. This talks about a third party situation. This talks about three people coming together thus far. What do you have here? You've got the three of ones here. I told you three people were involved with killing this girl. You have a fire sign here, a water sign here, and an earth sign here who came together to kill this girl. Thus is the three of cups. That sits right next to the ten of cups. Everybody that do tarot knows the ten of cups talks about family. It's a 10 though. So 10 speaks of endings and completions as well. Okay? Individuals in Lily Peter's family came together with a group of individuals here. People, this is letting me know that individuals in Lily's family who linked up with other people with a group of individuals to plan, plot her death. And I know this is going, this you know, this could be heartbreaking and sad, okay? I am not saying that every person that this young lady knows was in on this. Clearly not, okay? But there are a lot of things hidden here. Spirit said that there is a triumph of lies pertaining to the situation pertaining to this family, pertaining to what happened to this baby. Why? Because she was a sacrifice. She was blood sacrificed. And sacrifice is a seven. Okay? Seven, uh, the seventh month of the year is July. Thus is the reason she came out as a cancer and a page of cups. Her birthday could be in July, making her a cancer. There's lies, deceptions, manipulations, and trickery going on because this girl was a blood sacrifice. She was set up and she was sacrificed, y'all. Okay? Let me show you something else. When I pulled from my own cards, guys, I got the two most secretive cards out of any deck here. Number one, I got the high priestess here. Okay? This high priestess, which is, is talking about secret societies, holy grail, occultic knowledge, secret information, authority, or elite officials here, a higher power. This also speaks to third eye, psychic intuition, secrets, the divine, and hidden things. But guess what's at the bottom of my deck? None other than the moon. The moon is 
water sign energy. Okay? The moon talks about things that are hidden. It can speak of criminal activities. Okay? Things that are sneaky, freaky, and creepy going on. It speaks to darkness. Things done in night. It can speak to witchery, rituals, secret things. Okay? And what's done in the dark. I pulled from another one of my decks, guys, and guess what I got? Almost the identical same here. Okay? Sneaky, creepy, freaky things done in the dark. Okay? Secrets. Things are being hidden pertaining to the situation. Somebody was casting curses or spells. Somebody could be a part of some type of satanic cult or secret society here. Um, this also speaks to a sacrifice, as you see here. Moon cycle rituals, evoking of demons and or conjuring. Okay. And then guess what the card was at the bottom of the deck under that. Okay. We have the magician. Uh oh, sorry guys. We have the magician here. There's a witch practitioner who's into black magic, a part of this. This could talk about poisons and potions. An evil voodoo queen, okay? This could talk about the craft, the occult, okay? Wicked witches, okay? involved in this situation here guys okay there are a lot of things that's being hidden from the public okay one or two things are going to happen in this situation i'm gonna tell you how it's gonna play out of course right now because her body has just been found they're making it seem like you know they got the the, uh, the community in an uproar scared afraid that some killer is lurking about in their neighborhoods, scared for their children. The chief of police is telling you to be vigilant, which you should be anyway. Okay? But I know they know that this is a setup and this is staged. Okay? So they have instilled fear in the community's minds and hearts around this situation. So one or two things are going to happen. Of course, right now, they are making it seem like this is top priority. We're on a hunt for a killer, a child killer, okay? They're either going to let some time go by, and they're going to act like they have no leads, no suspects, no clues, no nothing, which you know is pure bullshit with all the technology that they have. If you can stalk, harass, and, and illegally put... Um, uh, law batting citizens on government watch lists and target them illegally and unjustly with all your little demonic witchery type technology then surely you know who much the child killers are and who killed this girl but they're either going to let some time go by, guys. Watch what I tell you. They're going to let some time go by, and they're going to act like they either don't have a clue, don't have a suspect, don't have an idea as to how this young lady, young girl came up dead. Or number two, they're going to let a little bit of time go by, and they're going to roll out a patsy. Now, if they come up with someone who they say that they have in custody uh, as a person of interest for questioning, Watch this person when they show you this person. His eyes is gore or whoever they come up, whatever the patsy that they come up with is under mind control and has been brainwashed and is con completely controllable by the satanic powers that be. Look at their eyes. The eyes is the window to the soul. They will look spaced out. They would look zoned out, look kind of gloomy and gloomy like, like they're there, but they ain't there. Because they're on a full-blown mind control. And they're going to be very submissive. How you can tell the ones who are under mind control, even when they go and apprehend these people out of nowhere. These are patsies. If you notice, they don't fight. They don't run. They don't hide. They're not aggressive. They don't resist or nothing. They're just as calm as can be. 
and you know anybody, whether they have committed a crime or not, and they're ran up out of police in some type of way, they're going to be hostile a little bit. May even try to run. May even try to fight back if they're a little crazy. You know? But these patsies, when they do roll out a patsy, they're always way too calm, cool, and collect. Very submissive. It's because they're being controlled remotely. They're under mind control. But one or two things is going to happen, guys, like I said. They're either going to let several months go by and act like they don't have a clue, they don't have a lead, and they don't have a suspect. Or either they are going to come up with a patsy and say, oh, we found DNA of this person on her body or around the area that she was found. They'll come up with any kind of cover story, okay? Because the fact of the matter, and it's not going to make sense, because the fact of the matter is, is they want to cover up the individuals whom this really leaks back to, okay? But I'm telling you, there are a couple persons related to this girl who clearly know what happened to her. This was not an accident. This was done on purpose. This girl was set up. It was staged. And she was a blood sacrifice. I pulled further clarification for you all from another deck. I have her energy here again as the Princess of Cups. There were several different reasons as to why she was killed here with the Seven of Cups. Several different reasons as to why her death was caused. One of which did not tell you it was about money. This falls in the same spot that this Ten of Coins fall. And this is also Ten of Coins. What does that say at the bottom? Wealth. This girl was sacrificed for money. That's what caused this tower to collapse. That's the reason why her life was snuffed out by the enemy. That's what caused this major upheaval. Why? Ultimate betrayal, ruin here. This is another 10. Completions, endings, hostility, betrayal, disloyalty. This girl was betrayed. She was stabbed in her back by her own people. Why? Why this betrayal? You got another 10 here. Burtons. Problematic situations. Complications. Responsibility. That's what caused this sadness, heartache, pain, loss because of her death. Why? Well, there was conflict, of course, about money, which falls right on the Ten of Coins. Two fives back to back make a ten. You got a ten here, a ten here. Five of Cups with the Five of Swords. Two fives make a ten. You got another ten here. How many tens do you need to understand that this girl was set up? Tens are completions. E endings. Death. Harm, destruction, conflict, about money. Maybe y'all need one more ten. Maybe y'all need one more ten. So how about the, the five of coins with the five of wands? Well, the five of coins talks about somebody who was felt abandoned, left out, with little. Maybe like that wife, maybe like that mother. Who was in desperate need of more. Or maybe it was the dad. Who felt abandoned. Who felt left out. Either way. There was competition about money. Two fives. Once again. Make a ten. You got five, 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 five. Ten, ten, ten. Five, five, five. Two fives a ten. 
two fives, a ten. All these tens equals to completions and endings of this girl's life. She was set up and she was sacrificed. She was betrayed by people closest to her who were in conflict and competition for money. That's the reason why this wheel of fortune is turning. To get this wheel to turn into their favor, they had to do something drastic. There was extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions about this. Okay? Lies, deceptions, manipulations. Now they're sneaking and creeping around trying to get away with something. Is it murder? Huh? Because they caused an ending to her life here? Spirits say that's the truth. That's clarity. This concludes this reading. I thank you all for listening. I thank you for watching. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiffanyziegler60 at gmail.com or at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. If you prefer to contact me by phone, you can do so at 501-478-8035. For those of you who would like to donate to the channel, you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign Tiff Diamond 36, or either um, uh, through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when somebody may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you, or harm you, even when it's your own family. Keep some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. So the next time, guys, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.